and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. We're right back where we left off here, uh, trying to track down a gang. So, let's see. I think all we have to do is... Oh, boy. Yep. It takes some doing, but your teammate uh, manages to force the false wall open. The hinges give way with a scrape and a crunch. The passing behind revealed. Passage behind revealed. Alright. Well. An obvious door there. Seems that's the only way to go. Alright, well. This is the same man you met in the market, but the friendliness has gone from his face. In his place is a cold, unwavering gaze. You should have stuck to the market, stranger. If the uh, gang wished to be found, we've opened a cafe. Now, what do you want of us? Say your piece. I don't know. It looked like an invitation to me. If you really don't want to be found, you might hide your tracks a little better. Oh, I just wanted to see what all the gang fuss about cool pad you got here. I'm from the Kurtz Bazaar. You stole a shipment of supplies bound for a Keats and we and we want it back. Wait, I just saw you upstairs and I didn't see you on the way down. Yeah, that. I like that. He chuckles, cold stare evaporating. You think a gang like this, we've only got one secret passage? There's all kinds of fun hidden passages down here. This place is over 100 years old, you know. During the Second World War, they converted the, this part of the station to an air raid shelter. Made it nice and secure in case anyone spotted bombers over the city. Uh, he appears more relaxed, his tone more friendly, he seems to enjoy re relating the history of this place. Uh, continue listening. Then, during the Cold War, they designated this whole station as an emergency fallout shelter. You know, in case the Russians and the Americans decide to blow each other up? This is back when Berlin was divided in two, of course. Things got better for a while after that. Hell, a few decades ago, before the awakening, I hear they used to give tours, he laughed. This isn't a tour, I'm afraid. So, you're from the Kurtz Bazaar, and you're here to get your stolen equipment back. Is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. Well, I wish I, wish I completely understand, strangely. Uh, which I completely understand, stranger, believe me. But unfortunately, we need those supplies more than you do. So I have to graciously decline your offer to relieve us of your property. I can see things are, are harder on here, Corn. But I have to look out for my own Keats, and that shim belongs to us. And I will graciously give you a chance to turn over those supplies before I shoot you in the face. Or, it's a shame you guys uh, didn't search us for weapons. Uh... And that ship yeah, I'm going to go with that ship belongs to us. Not from where I'm standing. Look, there's no need for bloodshed, I'll tell you that. It seems like you know what it's like to look out for the Keats like this. It's not easy, right? We provide these pe we provide for these people. A haul like this shipment keeps the uh, area from going hungry for a little while longer. It's our home. These are our people. I suspect you feel the same about the Kurtz Bazaar. So I'm prepared to, to let you leave. Just like that, knowing our little secret here and everything. In return, all I have to do is walk away. Just walk away and forget this ever happened. What do you say, stranger? Well, I don't have the charisma to do this, so... I think I understand, alright? You've got a deal, but you better not hijack anything from the Kurtz Bazaar again. From now on, we stay out of each other's way. I think it's a shame you guys didn't search us for weapons. Oh, as much as I want to do that... Oh, it's, I'm, I'm trying to be... Uh, and I don't think Iger's gonna like it, but... Uh, it's that. You got my word on that. Cool. Well, let's go see if I can, uh... They're all empty. Let's look go over here. Just full of old Simpsons recordings. Well, you're not gonna stop us from... Looking around and maybe taking your stuff. I'm gonna look around and maybe take your stuff. No? No? Alright. Oh look. No violence, no bloodshed. Kind of a problem, but it won't be a problem again. 
cool. Well, that's... You know what? It's supply surprisingly pleasant to take care of problems like this. Like, hey, you guys stole from us, but we need it. I know, but they're oh, it's ours. Don't do it again. Okay. I can, I can appreciate that. Hey, Orc Guard. How you doing? Hey, is that a beer from downstairs? Yeah, brought it up for you. Keep up the good work, buddy. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. The York takes a beer, pops the cap off with his tusk, and takes a long swig. Ah, that really hit the spot. Got so muggy down here. See you around. Aw. I didn't expect to be that nice, but, you know, let's not be mean. Besides, it's an extra karma. I always use more karma. The Kurtz Bazaar. You emerge from the U-Bahn station out of the familiar streets of the Kurtz Bazaar. The energy here is stark contrast to the weary, slowly drowning mood of the uh, Gesserburns. The Kurtzburg is an island of hope, afloat amidst a dangerous currents of the flux state. But it won't take much for it to capsize. To find, uh, it's time to find Garani and tell him the news. And we will. All right. Return to Grani for your payment. On my way. He won't be super happy, but at least we'll get some pay. Welcome back. You need some weapons? Some ammunition, perhaps? I took care of the business with, the, with those guys. They won't be hijacking your shipments anymore. Where is Ambro? Indeed, this is good news. We were able to retrieve the shipment of weapons they stole as well. They agreed to stop hijacking our supplies from now on, but they won't be returning the stolen shipment. Feh! He spits on the ground. And you just let them get away with this? They're, they steal to support their Keats in hard times. I do the same in their position. And do the same in their position. I'm not about to start a war with a neighbor over a few guns. Easy for you to say. It's not your merchandise that's been stolen. He frowns. But. I suppose what's done is done. Very well. I won't question your decisions. Thank you. Here's your payment, then. At least it's good to know that our shipment is safe again. Until next time, I dukin. Yes, you do have peace of mind. Now, what am I... Looking at seven? Now I'm going to need at least ten before I do anything new. Let's see if anyone else has anything new to say lately. You're from a distance clear that something is not right with Lane. Coming close, you can see dried blood on his face and clothes, as well as a few discolored blotches that pass for bruises on Troll's skin. More noticeably, there is considerable damage to the man's left prosthetic leg, which now tends, uh, which is now tends to tools and antiquated leg itself. Uh, let's see. You all right? I'm fine. Nothing that a few swigs with a wrench can't fix, or a few swings of a crutch. Someone comes in, thinks me weak, and I show him otherwise. Leaning to one side, Lane's crutch is uh, caked in more blood and what appears to be bits of hair. Right. Are you sure you're alright? I've suffered worse, and might, as you might imagine, and I don't need you or anyone else babying me. Alright. Tell me? Yes. Just a punk with some bad ideas, forget about it. Okay, I'll leave you be. So clearly something has happened. Hello again, my frontline. What can I do for you? Uh, no questions. Uh, How is Alexander doing? He is adjusting with difficulty. He shakes his head. Your friend Dietrich took a chance by sending his nephew to us. I will do my best to justify his faith in me. All right, no questions. I'm good. All right, well, let's do the round. Let's check on Simi real quick. I worry about her. Ever so. Simi Kim leans against the wall, her head downcast and her face lost in shadow. Seeing your presence, she looks up, revealing black eye poorly covered by concealer. And she smiles at you. Hello, Edukin. How are you? Alright. Are you alright, Kim? I'm fine. Just another day in Berlin. Alright. Is there something going on around here? There's always something going on in the flux, right? 
It gives, it takes, sometimes it takes more than it gives. And some things takes are some things it takes are gone forever. Friends that disappear, family that dies, people like Monica. I don't much like the flux. In the Sims, you can have some the same happy day over and over. You can skip past the parts you don't like, or play the good moments as many times as you want. I can't think of any part of life I'd want to play over, and plenty of parts I wish to skip. How'd you end up here? I don't know. I was living in the streets since I was a kid. Had no family, no home. I got mixed up with some bad people and I had a bad day. Ended up owing the money. Too much money. I got beat up pretty bad. Needed a doctor but couldn't pay for one. And I found Doc Ezkibble. He found me. I can't really remember. He said he could help me. Gave me, the, gave me the money up front. But he said I had to come back to him every month. Until I had paid him back. And I did. I... Really don't want to talk about this anymore, okay? Alright, take care of yourself. Whatever I have to do. Oh, Simmy, what's going on? Any punks in here? People are beating up my people? This isn't good. Yeah. How about the phone? Is that phone happening? <laughs> Alright, no, nothing's happening with the phone. What the heck's happening? Two of the good people of my Keats are being attacked. That's not have or have been attacked. That's not right. Welcome back, mine front line. What can old Zach get you? I found a formula in combat stim. Think you can produce something like that? Oh, you know you know I'm your man. I can hook you right up now. Remove. What's the deal with the special concoction? Flash grins even further. His mouth is disturbingly large, and there's something menacing about the sight of those two white teeth. It's it's the real deal, Charmer. Apparently, blend designed to deliver by yours and deliver by yours truly. Uh, pharmaceutical grade kamikaze cut with genuine spirit residue from the tear, and then mixed with my secret blend of herbs and spices. He produces a small packet filled with iridescent purple granules from the pocket of his dirty jeans. You want to get high? You want some Nova Coke to throw yourself in a party? You want to soar? You get yourself some flash. So, you want to conduct any business? Uh, so what's up with the bandages on your hands? He snorts and he snorts out a short burst of laughter. He raggles his bandaged hands around you. Well, these, nothing much, Charmer, nothing much. Tussled with the spirit back in Amsterdam. You know, elves are very spiritual people. Uh, I'm not an elf, so. So I've heard. You heard right. Damn right, Chummer. You know, my people, the uh, creatures of the spirit, we got to the magic in our blood whenever we sling us our spells or whatnot. I'm telling you, I've talked with spirits all my whole life, and it has nothing to do with praying or totem or studying spell books. He lowers his voice to a spiritual whisper. Between you and me, my mojo is stronger than any corp uh, wage mages. Take those rat scum bastards at the arcology. They cast spells all day and all night, right? Fire and this, and lightning that, you know, tossing around like candy. Yes, but that's what they do. Look, I don't mean to cut you off, but I got things to do. You want to make a sale or not? What do you say to you? Yeah, I changed my mind. Toodles, he says. Yeah. All right. That's the doctor's place. Right, we already talked to the arms dealer. Is this mystery dancer still doing well? Yep, she is. these people over here actually what are we uh raise money yeah we're gonna have to take one of those jobs just browsing okay you don't seem to have anything Cammy Hey there, Altung was just telling me you were around. I was wondering if you had, might be willing to trade a story or two. Alright. What's your deal with you and Altung? Oh, well, the whole ears and hands thing, plus the barista junk. Uh, that isn't news, and really, you ought to be quiet about that sort of thing. Sure thing, boss, but you know me by now. If there's really anyone in the Kurtz Bazaar who I shouldn't keep info from, it's you. She winks exaggerately. If only because nobody could pull the wool over your eyes. So out with it. What's your deal? 
Well, all right. I suppose I've heard a lot about you around the Kurtz Bazaar, so I fear you know a bit about me. I never really went to school, pretty much been a street kid as long as I can remember. And there was so much to learn from the people outside of school that I never really bothered. Uh, makes it difficult to get a job, so all the good street kids, or so as all good street kids do, I chose to haunt a place to haunt with my friends and always hang out there. And that was Al Tung's cafe. He was super nice to me and mine. Felt more comfortable with him than I ever did with my Walter. Her eyes narrow for a brief moments at the word. And we talked a lot when I was waiting around for my friends. He must have been fairly comfortable with me too, otherwise he wouldn't have offered the job. And really, what is it that you do? Technically, I'm a barista, like I said before, ears and hands. I run his errands, gather gossip, sometimes I, sometimes I even make coffee. I much prefer his hookah operations, though. Real coffee makes me feel paranoid. Speaking of which, I should probably get back to work. See you around. Yeah, see ya. Alright. And pop in here real quick, talk to Blitz. These things seem to be happening. I found this drone in the hotel vault. Does it belong to you? Uh, yeah, Chief, that's mine. I didn't want to say anything at the time since it was... My idea to have you loot the vault in the first place. Huh? You could have seen me somewhere around if you had just come clean. I, uh, forgot about it. Honestly, Chief, I'm just glad to, s to see you're up and running again. How'd you pull that off anyway? Millet fixed your drone. Says, uh, it wouldn't listen to anyone but you, though. Score, so, uh, can I have it back? Sure, it's no use to me anyway. Nice. Ah, I didn't really, I didn't even really remember that. Hey Chief, what's up? Any thoughts about the last run? Oh yeah, now we're going to this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Boop. Alright, well let's go talk to uh, our friends. See if we can get any further insights on our current situation. Hey, it's Dante. Hey, Dante. Good boy. Ah, pet him. Oof. All right. Mom, Paul. Hair Amcel. All right. I do. Can greetings. Appears you threw a better pair of wire rim glasses. There's something gentle about the old man, with the silver hair and his tweed jacket that looks more. An aging art history professor than he does a criminal go between. Anything I can do for you? Uh, I don't need anything. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna we have to pick one of those two missions. Oh, let actually let's talk to Iger. See if she's been better after that last mission. As you approach, she turns to face you. Rifle has been peeled, stripped, and trying and laying pieces sheet of butchered paper. Around, arranged neat rows in the edge of the paper are bottles of. Copper solvent, bore cleaner, lighter fluid. Fearless returns. What do you need? I'd like to hear more of your time with KSK. Besides, all right, fearless leader, ask away. Oh, we we learned how she got her uh, street name. Uh, tell me about your team. Fair enough. I guess you've earned it. There is eight of us. Two commando squads working together in a single unit. Schmidt and Lang were combat deckers. Uh, Wolf was our rigger and combat engineer. Fisher handled demolitions. Braun was a medic, and the rest of us, uh, Metzger, Kruger, and myself, we were weapon experts. Our mission was extraterritorial, technically illegal, but important enough to justify the risk. I've been sent across the border into Poland. The Russian mafia had set up a cottage industry in human trafficking along the Order Ness line, and now it's job to disrupt it. Okay, go on. We were a good team, experienced, went through a lot together. And we chalked up a lot of kills. In our own way, I'd like to think we did some good. Alright. That was neat. Uh, who's in command? Metzger, best leader I ever had the pleasure of serving under. Face clouds. He was a hell of a man. But he went down with the rest of his team. Everyone but me. What happened to the team? No, that's not a story I'm telling. They died, and that's all you get to know. Thanks. So, was there something else you want to talk about? Or can I get back to cleaning my rifle? What are your thoughts on the last run? 
nothing we haven't talked about. Okay, bye. Sure thing, fearless leader. Good luck. Well, that was um, interesting. And we're, let's see, we're definitely clearing ourselves out of mission items. Just have some spare coffee. So uh, here's where I will say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying these videos. If you do, please remember to do the usual YouTube thing. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you all next time.